Welcome back to Low Energy Videos. Uh, for starters, yes, I did sleep this time. We will not make that mistake again. This actually came out um, just as I was going to bed, and I was like, oh, I can play this. And I'm like, wait, no, 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 we've tried that. Uh, this is the life of Eric Zahn, uh, once again made by Ben Yatsi Croshaw uh, on his, uh, well at this point you know he's doing 12 games. So uh, this is also based off uh, the Lovecraftian story of the same name. The gist of it is this, uh, a cellist, or in this case a, a violinist, has to go and um, keep uh, an unspeakable horror at bay by playing every night. Uh, this is the same premise, but uh, you still have to pay rent, and you still need sleep, and you still need uh, to build up... You have to study, to which will then in turn build up uh, your uh, inspiration meter, which then you can use to battle the monsters. When all the lights are gone outside, the game's over. It's kind of like Tetris, there's no ending. So, uh... You're meant to mimic it. And basically, it's like Five Nights at Freddy's without the Five Nights part, or the Infinite Nights. I, I think this is the most stylish one yet, and yes, that does include the last one where it was just a jumping dude. I really like the idea of it. It gets more and more... the first time I'm playing it. But you're thinking, well, why didn't you work out the mechanics first? It's also very similar to the lockpicking skills in a lot of Bethesda games. I don't know if that's a good thing, I don't think so. They have to go back down, you see. The lockpicking represents represents like, their souls or something like that. I'm just saying. So is he the only person in Paris that's currently playing the violin? Uh, I doubt that greatly. I don't know if I can get a single knight at this point. <laughs> this is the last one. are safe, I think. Sleep to refill your cinema, study to refill your inspiration bar, or go out and busk. Busking. Press left mouse buttons and space to come home. Okay. If I'm right, uh, rent, from what I've seen from other people, rent is five francs. So, study. Now this one's interesting. Yati himself is very proud of this. The idea is that you go and, oh, oh I Spent so long busking. Shit. Okay. Um. The gist here is that you have to pick two words out and research the uh, words that you get from different notes throughout the each day. If you do that, uh, you can uh, then increase it. So it's kind of like an A plus thing. So you pick two words. So watch the skies at night. If you see the lines, mimic them with your bow. And for love of God, play. Play. So let's pick God and play. A plus. Okay. That's good. That's that's good. This will be a bad run, though. <laughs> but this is the gist of it. Every day, apparently... Um, it increases the, the the difficulty. I think after day four, you have to use your thumb, obviously, to mimic what a real like violin is like, which is not as simple as just putting a thing to a thing, you know. Good at being violin man. Demons going eat my soul. Oh well, it's only France. Who cares? Um, 
this is a really in interesting idea. It's very out there. Of course, um, I think it was a bit of an inspiration by the chat. The chat as always seems to be coming up with some cool ideas. Damn, this is tricky. Dick. And now I'm completely out of inspiration. Which... Yeah, I can't, I can't play the... I can't play now. You see, it's, it's a time management game as much as anything. So at least you get to see the... Uh, so, my first run I lasted two days. I believe um, Immortan Joe would say it best. Mediocre. That's it. Yeah, here we go. I think this is a lot of replayability if you want to keep pushing your best. I might even play this on Wasted Wednesday on the off chance. It's unlikely, but you never know. I think it's a very cool idea. It's still not in my wheelhouse, though. No. Shut up, here comes the existential dread. This is how you play an actual violin, douchebag. Survived two days. New high score! Yay. Alright. That's, um... That's basically the gist of it. I could try it again, but uh, why don't you guys easily beat my record? It can't be that hard. Uh, Yahtzee's got a good few games already in the works. This is number four. He's moving on to number five now, which I believe is a uh, Gun uh, Tana sort of um, game where you have to kind of use two guns to kill people. That could be kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, this is um, this is a pretty cool one. I don't know if there's like an overarching storyline. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever played it, but it's it's not my favorite he's, he's put out there. I, I preferred um I preferred the Battle Royale TV one. That was a good one, and uh, I forgot what the first one was, but I remember enjoying that. But he's got a good few ones here, and I would highly recommend you guys go and check that shit out. It is very good stuff. As for me, um. I have been Low Energy Videos. Uh, if you liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Yahtzee stuff as well as non Yahtzee stuff. Uh, expect Wasted Wednesday to come later on today, which, you know, it is Wednesday at the time of releasing, so it's not that unexpected. Uh, I've also got a video in the works. Uh, it's kind of like a countdown video. I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah. Uh, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Uh, if you want, please join the Discord. You'll find the link for it down below. And uh, above all else, do check out Ben Yahtzee Crowshaw's channel if you haven't already, which if you haven't, I hope existential monsters come and steal your soul from your window while you can't play a violin right or get your rent on time. I'm horrible like that. Anyway, bye!